Okay, hey guys, my name is Rachel Alexander and I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to actually use the Splice app within Cubase. I literally have been racking my brains for the last like 30 minutes trying to figure this out. <laughs> so I was like, I know some other people might have struggled with this too, so let me just go ahead and share what I've discovered. So if you are an, a Splice user, you can go ahead and log into your Splice account and up, you know, go to whatever sound or whatever you you know sounds load your sounds and things that you've already purchased right so in order to use splice within cubase you want to first go ahead and add a a midi track and so i just right clicked and add midi track you can also click this plus button there and uh you can do it that way and just uh you know add oops and name it whatever you want right or the better way is actually this way where you oops go back you add you just go to your vst instruments when you're looking for your media right click this button up here and then go to vst instruments and then just drag in the splice bridge as an option oops make sure it's and then you will see that it's connected so once you've dragged in the splice bridge vst as a vst you'll see that you can now play any sample or stack with you know your song so right now i'll just sample you and let you see what i'm doing and mute this sample and play it within and see if it plays correctly the timing um so let's make this smaller so you can kind of see and you'll see it lit up here when it's blue and when this says it's connected then you you can actually play the song sounds within splice as you're playing back your your music within cubase so i'm just going to find this uh cubase is this one You can see how it's playing in time because if you actually listen to that sample it's actually 100 bpm while my project is 80 bpm so now that i'm playing it while it's within the splice bridge you'll see that it's playing within time you can also change the key here or whatever if you know you select a track that's um go back if you select a track that <laughs> change the key um, the pitch here transpose turn that on and off you can change the beat and all that good stuff so that is basically how you use splice within Cubase it took me literally 30 minutes to figure out how to do this thing and <laughs> what I'm showing you in less than five minutes so hopefully this is helpful okay happy creating